Um, I'm going to say something that may well be unpopular, um, which is that I personally feel like the only thing that really matters when somebody comes to a business, whether it's a dairy farm, whether it's a restaurant in Lake George and the other end of my district, uh, whether it is at GE, a recipient of much cor corporate welfare, um, what is it they should get out of that job? Um, I'll tell you what they shouldn't get out of that job, and that's that they shouldn't be in danger of being deported because they're being forced to take that job on illegally. Uh, they shouldn't be underpaid or paid a salary and be working more hours than they're supposed to. The labor standards that exist for American citizens should also exist for the people who are here illegally. But beyond all of that, why are those people here? And uh, I will say something very simple. They're here because all of our grandfathers and grandmothers and great-grandmothers and great-great-grandmothers and grandfathers aren't from the United States. And when we look at people from Mexico and we say, oh, those illegal immigrants, that's a terrible thing. It's racism. It's not anything different than that. Those are human beings. They're human beings. And the reason they want a job is that we signed NAFTA and GATT and we sent huge corporations into Mexico and we destroyed a system of agrarian peasantry that worked pretty well for them for thousands of years. And we did that willfully and we allowed our corporations to do it so we could get cheap shoes because we're very selfish people. And we need to stop being selfish. We need to start opening our eyes. When you employ a child in a plant in the Maquiladoros or when you ruin a river there or when you murder a union organizer and you and I don't take responsibility for it because we didn't pull the trigger, we didn't dump the toxins in the water, all we did was buy a shoe. No, we're all responsible for it. And that's what's driving people across the border to come up here to take these jobs. They don't have jobs where they live. They're being expected to work in factories and fight each other to death over a $5 an hour job or a $5 a day job. You know, we have to grow up as a country and realize that it's fine to let people into the country to work legally, but it can't be a system of corporate economic slavery. You can't put people into the Midwest in all of the poultry and pork and beef processing plants, feed them methamphetamines, pay them less money than they're supposed to make, have them work the equivalent of two jobs, have them live in a trailer park everyone understands is where the illegals live, and then also deport some of them regularly on a rotating basis, so it looks like we care about the problem. Ironically, the president I agree with least about everything in my lifetime, George W. Bush, is actually the one who put forward some of the best immigration reform. We need to make sure immigrants who are coming here to work are just that, and that we provide them with a path to citizenship or at least legal uh, work visas so that they can be here with the same protections other workers have.